Hey guys, Fermentation Nation here, aka Jared. I have a very special beer in my glass. This is the follow up to the Brew Pal that I did with Mr. Steve James Barr, my southern, very southern brother from another mother. And I appreciate the recipe that he gave me. It's a black IPA. You guys can see it's super dark in the glass. It looks wonderful. It's holding a little bit ahead, not a, not a ton ahead, but that's nothing that I really worry about. And I brewed this uh, several months ago. I moved in the middle of brewing this beer to when I got it on tap, and I apologize for the length and delay in which that it has taken me to actually taste it and get it, you know, uh, get a review for you guys. But let's give it a smell. There's an absolute crap ton of just citrusy hops in this dry hop of this one. So I think there's Amarillo and Citra and possibly Cascade. It's it's kind of escaping right now, but uh, the the overtones are definitively citrus. It's wonderful smelling. You can actually pour just like a half a glass of this, set it on your desk, your table, and you're like, man, I, I'm smelling grapefruit. This is awesome. Uh, it's very dark, but does not have roasty overtones. So the uh, Carafa malt is doing its job. It's giving us all the color that we want without going into that stout or sort of porter realm, or even brown ale. It's it's really holding its own as a Cascadian dark ale, black IPA sort of a thing. A little richer than medium body. Uh, that would be the only detraction I have is that it does drink like a, a bit of a, a bigger beer than it is uh, as far as the style guideline, which it's not definitive on the style guideline, but. Uh, it does drink closer to a porter or a brown than it does to an IPA, which uh, that would be my only detraction because it has a nice bitterness. It kind of pursues the uh, malt character down your throat. It's got a real caramely malt body. Uh, it's got a, a t just a touch of that chocolate character, but it doesn't really overwhelm the beer. And it finishes nice and clean. That SO5 yeast uh, really leaves beer you know, really dry. This attenuated quite well. And uh, I find it to be a, a really nice beer and a really nice recipe, and I can't wait to brew it again. So, Steve James Barr, thank you, brother. I appreciate the recipe, and uh, cheers, guys. We'll uh, we'll do it again.